All right, so for this week's drawing, we're gonna be doing what I call my warm and cool color drips, okay? In order to do this, we're going to use our knowledge of the color wheel. We're gonna learn about warm and cool colors. We're going to create shadow using uh, brown, and we're gonna create those drips using those organic lines uh, that we've been using in our projects, all right? But before we get started, I wanna teach you guys a little bit about warm and cool colors. So we know that since we've been doing these art projects, we have been using the color wheel. Um, we've been using organic and inorganic lines. We've been shading, and we're gonna be learning how to blend colors as well. I've got the color wheel all dry, drawn out nicely for you so that you can refer to that. And then underneath I have complementary colors. Red equaling green, those are complementary. Blue equaling orange, those are complementary or opposite colors and yellow equaling purple, okay? Now, we know about the color wheel, we know about complementary colors. We're gonna break those colors down into two more categories, warm and cool colors. When you think about warmth, what comes to mind? You might think about the sun, the yellow of the sun, the red and the oranges that you might see in fires. When you're thinking about cool colors, you might think about um, cold water that might be blue. You might be thinking about ice blocks, things of that nature. So I'm gonna break those colors down for you. My red, my orange, and my yellow. And we're gonna go over to our cool colors. Blue, that's a cool color. That purple, and that green. So, we're gonna be using the color combination of warm colors and cool colors to create that cool drawing that I just showed you guys. And I wanna also show you one more thing before we get started. I wanna show you how colors can blend very well together, okay? If I start with the red and I shade in red, the next color that I'm gonna to go to is orange. It's right next to red on the wheel. I'm gonna transition my colors from warm to cool, getting a little bit less warm as I go. Now I'm gonna take that yellow, it's next to orange on the wheel, blend it in, just like so. What's next? That's right, green. I'm gonna do the same thing blending those colors together, transitioning from warm to cool, just like that. Now I'm gonna move on to that blue. It's right next to green on the color wheel, going around in a circle on that wheel. And then finally, I'm going to move on to that purple or violet. And before you get started on this week's project, I would really like for you to just practice that on a scrap piece of paper. And um, that'll really just help you get used to blending in colors and transitioning them um, between each other. So as you can see, I went from warm all the way to my cool colors. And if I started again, I would go to red. So you can see purple has some warm qualities in it and yellow being so close to green, being so close to blue, those colors, you know, that yellowish color can also have some cool qualities in it. All right, so in order to be able to complete this warm and cool drip project, you're going to need your warm colors, your red, orange, yellows, your cool colors, your purple, blue, green, and at the end, you're gonna to wanna to use a brown colored pencil to create those shadows um, within the drips, okay? You're gonna grab one of your colors and I'm gonna to begin to draw my drips using random organic lines, okay? And I'm gonna actually start up here. Some are longer than others, some are shorter, some are wider than others, some are thinner. And we're just gonna to continue to draw those drips just like so. Make them look random. There's set number one. Now I'm gonna draw set number two. 
and draw it in pretty lightly on your paper. You don't want to press hard so at the end you can go over those drips again. As you can see, I'm making some longer than others, some short. All right. And I'm going to do this two more times. So I'm going to have a set of four drip lines on my paper, okay? Just like so. Done. And one more. All right, done. Now, after we've got those drips drawn out, we are going to begin the shading portion of this drawing. And in the past, we've used like a circular soft motion to do our shading. On this project, we're gonna approach it a little bit differently. Um, we're going to go back and forth or up and down with our colored pencils to create that pattern and to uh, mix and blend those colors together. So I'm gonna show you guys how I approach the first line. What I'll do is I'll start with my warm colors. So I'm gonna begin with my red. My pencil's getting a little bit shorter, no big deal. I'm gonna use it until I can't use it anymore. I'm going up and down, and the further I get away from the beginning, the lighter I get, just like so. Up and down, up and down, back and forth with my pencil, just like so, creating that pattern filling. All right, I'm not scribbling, I'm going up and down, okay? And I'm gonna come over here and do the same, start darker, and as I move away from the beginning, I'm gonna get a little bit lighter and that's gonna make it better for me blending colors. Got it? Just like that. Okay, I'm not gonna go all the way to the end like I want you guys to, because I want you to see the whole process. I'm gonna to go to my next color, which is orange, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna go up and down with that orange just like so. The further I get away from where I started, the lighter I get with that orange. I'm gonna come back over here, up and down, back and forth. I'm not going in the circles anymore. I'm just going up and down, creating that rhythm and that pattern. And I'm blending as I go, getting lighter as I get towards the end of using that orange color. And you can see already the colors are beginning to blend together. Those reds and oranges are mixing well together, okay? All right, just like that. We're imagining that we're going all the way across, remember. Now my next color, aside, uh, beside that orange is that yellow. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go up and down with that yellow. You see that yellow blending in with that orange, that yellow blending into some of that red. And there we go. We're starting to get that smooth transition, that consistent blend. And you know, as we get comfortable blending our colors, we're gonna get better. And you can transition color blending with colored pencils into other mediums as well. The more you get comfortable using colored pencil and blending those together, the more confident you're gonna feel about blending colors so that when you move to the next medium, you're gonna be familiar with how colors work together and it's not gonna be so scary when you want to blend them together. So chalk pastels will be easier to blend oil pastels will be easier to blend, acrylic paints will be easier to blend because you'll already have the concept down. It may look, be a little bit different between each med medium, but that's okay, you're already gonna have the concept. Okay, so I'm imagining I completed this whole row. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace the line randomly with all three colors in random spots. Just trace the line, it's gonna give it some depth, got it? just like so. Using that red, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to orange, trace some of this line orange, randomly in different spots. All right, and now I'm gonna move on to that yellow and finish up. Trace some of these lines on the contour of my drip with the yellow. And um, it's really just gonna make the eye interested in looking at the image. Now I'm gonna imagine that I completed the whole row and I'm gonna move on to my cool colors and I'm gonna start here, okay? I'm gonna start with that purple at the bottom and I'm gonna push myself up just like I did, up and down, back and forth, getting lighter the further I get away from the beginning point, just like that. Same thing over here, 
going up, pushing up, getting lighter as I move upward, getting in a consistent rhythm, getting more familiar with blending color and gradation, changing from values dark to medium to light, just like so, okay? And you can take your time, make those transitions smoother than what I'm doing. For the purposes of time, I'm kind of speeding, but I want you to take your time. Take your time and develop it. Now I'm gonna move on from that purple. That's right, blue is next. It's right beside purple on that color wheel. So I'm gonna go in with my blue, blend those blues together. You see that vibrant, brilliant color that it's making as I blend it? I really like how that looks. Love how those colors blend together. It's almost like an electric feeling. I'm just gonna continue blending those colors together, going back and forth, going right on top of that purple leaving the, start, the starting point mostly blank so that purple can really shine into that, that starting point at the bottom of the drip, just like so, okay? Push up a little bit further, finish that out. All right, I'm gonna imagine that at this point, I have shaded in, blended my blues all the way from start to end of that row. I'm gonna go in with my green and do the same thing, up and down motion, just like so, get in a rhythm, get those colors blending together. They can touch, no big deal. They're supposed to touch, that's how they blend. Overlap, okay? And you can see my colors are starting to blend very well together. I'm liking the outcome, I think it's looking pretty cool. I think my project's gonna come out pretty interesting. I'm feeling confident, I'm getting better as I go along and I can see my skills as an artist, a 2D artist developing. Okay, so I'm gonna imagine that I've completed that whole row. I've got the colors blending well together. Um, awesome. Next thing I'm gonna do with those cool colors is trace again, randomly, just randomly trace along the contour lines of those drips. Trace with my green, I'm gonna to move to my blue, trace a little bit, just like so. And this is the process that I'm gonna to continue to complete the whole drawing, okay? I'm gonna to continue to do this until I am done from top to bottom, from left to right, just like so. Got a nice little rhythm going, feeling good. Okay, let's imagine that we've completed the whole drawing at this point, excuse me. Let's say we've completed everything from top to bottom. We've got our colors blended. We feel good, we feel confident. We went over some areas that we felt that we needed to go over and we further developed the colors. We made them brighter in some spots, a little dull in other spots. We're ready to go. Now at this point, you can begin to create a shadow on your drips. On the left or the right side of your drips, you're gonna use this brown pencil to create that shadow. It doesn't matter what side that you make the shadow on, but just keep the shadow to one side. So to make the shadow, real simple, along the edge, one side of your drips, you take that brown and you just, it's almost like you're tracing in different spots, get in those corners really good, leave some of it a little bit open, and you're gonna create a nice little shadow on your project, okay? just like so. And really, you know, these, these skills are really developing you as an artist. It may not seem like it, but the more you practice basic, simple skills, the better you're gonna get. And then once you're ready to create art on your own, when you come up with your own ideas and concepts, you're gonna be ready because you're gonna have the tools that you need to be successful Look like this, okay? So I've went in each line, I've used those colors, warm and cool. And first line, I use cool colors. Second, I used warm. Third, I used cool. Final fourth row, I used those warm colors. I went back over the colors in some areas and further developed them so I can make them brighter. I added shadow in with my brown on one side. And I even put a little squeaky little marks here and there with my brown, all right? So as long as you follow my steps, you're gonna to be totally successful. You've been shading, blending color, using organic, inorganic lines um, from our first project, okay? So I'm confident that you're gonna do well on this one. I look forward to seeing what you're gonna do. All right, take your time, do great work, you'll be fine.